be ready 5 seconds start traditionally india has been an outward looking country our strong commitment to multilateralism is reflected in our active participation in organizations like the united nations this engagement will continue the policies of economic liberalization introduced in recent years have increased our regional and global linkages and my government intends to deepen and strengthen these ties our nuclear policy has been marked by restraint and openness we have not violated any international agreements either in 1974 or now in 1998 the restraint exercised for 24 years after having demonstrated our capability in 1974 is in itself a unique example restraint however has to arise from strength it cannot be based upon indecision or doubt the series of tests recently undertaken by india have led to the removal of doubts the action involved was balanced in that it was the minimum necessary to maintain what is an irreducible component of our national security calculus subsequently government has already announced that india will now observe a voluntary moratorium and refrain from conducting underground nuclear test explosions we have also indicated our willingness to to move towards a legal formalization of this declaration the house is no doubt aware of the different reactions that have emanated from the people of india and from different parts of the world the overwhelming support of our citizens is our source of strength it tells us not only that this decision was right but also that our country wants a focused leadership which attends to their security needs this i pledge to do as a sacred duty we have also been greatly heartened by the outpouring of support from indians abroad they have with one voice spoken in favor of our action to the people of india and to indians abroad i convey my profound gratitude we look to the people of india and indians abroad for support in the difficult period ahead in this 50th year of our independence we stand at a defining moment in our history the rationale for the government's decision is based on the same policy tenets that have guided us for five decades these policies have been sustained successfully because of an underlying national consensus it is vital to maintain the consensus as we approach the next millennium in my statement today and in the paper laid before the house i have elaborated on the rationale behind you have come here from distant places to congratulate me i am thankful to you today the whole country is complimenting the scientists engineers and officers and jawans of the army who have carried out successful nuclear tests at pokhran years long efforts have borne fruit the strength of the nation has manifested itself in the form of successful elimination of these nuclear tests it has never been the indian tradition to be an aggressor or to be unjust or cause atrocities we have always believed in sacrifice 
in dedication and in staking our lives for the sake of our own dignity we had faced a number of invasions time and again we have never ventured out to attack any country but we were divided we were infinite to our individual circles and we were not concerned about the happenings in other parts of the world this was the reason why we lost our freedom on a number of occasions but it is also true that our preparedness for fight never ceased the struggle always continued we converted our defeat into victory and invaders and tyrants were always given a befitting reply whenever we unsheathed our sword for the protection of the dignity of our country or for the protection of our religions we never let it return to its sheath until the victory was achieved you are aware of the experience which punjab had during the past 8 to 10 years now there is peace in punjab we hope we will be successful in our efforts to maintain peace nobody from outside will come here to shatter our peace it will never happen that we start troubles in our country and vitiate the peace there we want to live amicably with the neighbor as a good neighbor but if the neighbor occupies our house creates disturbances then our safety and security would be of paramount importance to us and that is what we are doing nobody should have any doubts about it this is the objective behind our nuclear tests destruction is not the objective it is self defense which we have in our minds now the neighbor has also carried out tests and there are number of our friends who have planned for their tests we asked them to explain how could they carry out their tests so instantaneously can nuclear weapons be developed in just 16 days is it possible to launch missile at such a short notice no it was a result of preparations going on for years we know this since we have taken quite a long time in preparations and in reaching this stage 